Hey guys, it's Renee. So this DIY is going to be quite long. Grab a snack, some tea, some water, some coffee, and let's get started. So I'm going to be working with a bunch of wood craft sticks, and I'm going to be making them double by just gluing them with some white glue, and I'm going to let them dry. I'm using double just for them to have more stability. I'm going to be grabbing two more of those sticks, and for one, I'm going to be cutting out the like round edge by just marking a straight line and then just cutting it with my cutter. And I'm going to be grabbing a tiny piece of another one, not even half of it, just because one stick isn't enough as far as how high I want it to be. And that is going to be like the base for my four sticks. I'm going to be marking where the center is in all of this. I'm going to be taking my super glue. You can use white glue as well. And I'm going to glue my one and a half sticks to the back of my four sticks. I'm going to let it dry and then I'll use a bunch of construction nails and using tiny ones to place them I'm going to be using two sticks on the back just because I have that extra base that is another stick and I just want this whole thing to be ruined while I'm hammering those nails. So for my first stick I'm going to be hammering this three times like so for the next four times the third one is going to be like the first one. The final one is going to be like the second one. For the base, I need six like this. And I'm going to be cutting the round edge where they all meet in the middle. Just using one as a guide for the other ones. Marking uh, how much I'm going to be cutting and then just cutting them until it looks like this. So this is going to be the bottom part of my base. And to have this as a unit, I'm going to be gluing a bunch of sticks. And I'm going to be using my super glue to do this. I actually recommend you using white glue because I am ended up using one of this super glues in this part so i think uh, it's handier to use white glue but you know feel free to work with whatever works for you cutting two of those sticks and just gluing them to those edges so this is the base for my stud earrings and earrings that i'm not going to be hanging and i'm going to be making a divider i need like walls for those dividers so for my top and bottom walls i'm going to be taking four sticks and i'm going to cut the round edges i'm going to be taking two for the left and right you know walls i'm going to be measuring how much of that i'm going to be using and then just cutting it i'm going to be gluing them from the edges just using some white glue like this working over a piece of wax paper while having those two ends meet using my nail polish to stand these things up and yeah i'm going to be gluing the walls like this with my glue and working with one like side at a time once I kind of move it and it feels strong, like it's uh, glued, I'm going to be adding glue all over the top and then I'll uh, glue it to the base like this. Now it's time to add those dividers and I'm going to be cutting a bunch of sticks in half. I'm going to cut the edges and first I'm going to be using two of this, placing them inside to see how much I need to cut, marking that and then just cutting it. And then I'll glue them all across like this, making them as straight as I can make them. I didn't measure anything by the way in this whole time, I just went by eye, but I really want to measure things. It's pretty much personal preference. Remember how I told you that I cut it a bunch of like six and a half? Well, I'm going to be using those halves, marking how long I want them to be, and then just cutting them. Now I found that cutting them with my exacto knife sometimes would give me like rough edges. And so what I did is used my nail drill that I recently shared my review on if you want to check it out the nail file thingy so if you have one of this i recommend using this because it's going to help you smooth the edges and everything uh, will go smoother but yeah then i'm going to be gluing them i ended up using 10 of those in total but it's pretty much up to your collection so that's it for the base i'm going to be gluing the whole thing marking just as a reference as to where should i glue this then i'm going to be placing the base in there for a few hours until it's dry i'm going to be painting them first with my white acrylic paint just using white as a base feel free to work with spray paint if you prefer and then i'm going to be making this of white-ish by mixing my white with this khaki pretty much mostly white just a hint of that painting that giving it a couple of coats i decided to go for white because i wanted this to be clean and just fresh looking but you can pretty much customize it to your own liking or just leave it um, without any paint but yes this is what this holder and hanger looks like i love it i love it i really do i wanted a place to just organize all my kinds of earrings from stats bigger stats hoops and hanging earrings and all that all in one place and this is perfect. My collection is still gonna grow more because I find it pretty relaxing to make earrings, to share, to just wear them. And the more I make, I find that the more like statement I have been making. But yeah, I like them both. Settle stat earrings. 
and also bigger and bold statement earrings and yeah i have made a lot of like dust earrings that you see right now they're on my channel and it's crazy to see how much my collection has grown from the first stat earring organizer to now I really hope you liked this as much as I did. Hopefully you found it helpful. I share a bunch of different things here on my channel. Hopefully you liked this one. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So check out more accessories that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.